blow my peeps. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mute. Just a second. I am, <laughs> I am just a touch sleep deprived at the moment. And my computer is slower than I am right now. There we go. All righty. Let us, let us see where my comments went. Why are they not here? They're there. So welcome to Show and Tell with Tracy. Um, I forewarn you, <laughs> it's going to be a gong show tonight. Um, how do I know that? As I mentioned, rather sleep deprived. Um, <laughs> my son is trying to take the new puppy for a walk. He is, he is not enjoying, enjoying being on a leash. Everything is a chew toy to him. So as he tries to take him, all he does is chew. So it's very entertaining. Um, sleeping through the night, that's a thing of the past for the next little while. So um, yeah, there's that too. Uh, thank you. And so um, yeah, we got all sorts of things going on. So um, I'm trying a new time out tonight because I wanted to do it when more people could be live to watch and like so we could have comments and chat because that way if you had a question about something you want to know something you could ask me right at the time and not have to like replay and you know just easier um and I mean three o'clock works for me because I can do it in the afternoon I can vary some times and um I have a I have a standing Facebook live at seven o'clock on Tuesday nights that I don't like to miss <laughs> but I thought well maybe I'm going to try this and just see if we can do six o'clock, you know that you, oh, hello, Jennifer Pike. Um, you know that we have an outside limit now because I have somewhere to be at seven. So in a way that's good because it will, it will uh, maybe keep the rambling to a minimum. Um, as soon as I find the button I want, I'm going to switch the cameras here. There we go. So <laughs> I'm, I plan to show you <laughs> a few different things and I had planned to show you them in a slightly different order, but I, um, I ran out of time because, uh, because my schedule is just all gone to pot now. Um, it is. I'm having so much fun though. Merrick and I are loving our our new uh, our new puppy rascal. He's adorable um, and exhausting and <laughs> so much fun. But yes, so much for the schedule. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a thing slightly out of order, so I can put this away, so I can show you the stuff I wanted to show you in order. Um, I sent out an email this morning. And I, I didn't wait. I was going to send a, like a bulletin tomorrow and let you know about the in colors. But I thought as soon as I saw the note post today, I thought, no, I got to let people know right away about this kit. Because when the Hope Box kit originally came out, it was a huge hit. Like, I, I think it might have been one of the ones that sold out. Uh, it was so popular when it first came out. And then I'm pretty sure it's one of the ones they made global. And I think that's why there's still some left, because they made a huge stock for it so they could offer it global. Because normally paper pumpkins only in North America. So Canada and US Stampin' Up! customers can get it. Um, Europe, uh, you know, I, I, one of these times I'm actually going to plan ahead. Europe has, I think there's five countries in Europe that have Stampin' Up! demonstrators in it, but so far they can't get it. And Australia and New Zealand, the South Pacific market, they can't get it. And it all has to do with just kind of shipping because the components all come in separate parts from different places and then they're boxed up and then they're shipped out. And that combination of all those things in those other markets is, I, I imagine it's doable. It's just cost prohibitive would be my guess or time prohibitive maybe, if that's such an expression. So anyways, I'm gonna show you this and I'll show you the card. I was trying to have the cards ready because when I when the kit came out the first time I bought an extra one because I, I needed, I can't remember what I was doing but at the time I needed one extra card because this kit that I have on, that I found on my desk or on my shelf, it has everything in it but one card. <laughs> So I knew I needed one extra card. I just can't remember why, because this was this was last summer. So anyways, this is the cool box, and I'll show you what you get to add to the end of it afterwards. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put stuff away. So I'm gonna do it in a let's set a slightly whacked out order. This is uh, Shelly Gardner for anybody who's interested. Um, she is one of the co-founders of the company. Her and her sister started this company in their home. Oh, we're looking at like close to 35 years ago now. It was 80. Yeah, I think it's 35 years next year. And so when this box first came out, she gave an idea of what she puts in hers just to like, you know, tell people out. So you can see in here that her, 
there's the final decoration on the outside. There's a bunch of stuff I'll show you. But so she just filled this box like for herself and she put things in that make her happy and make her remember, you know, there's good in the world and things that give her hope. You could also get this box and just give it as a craft project to somebody who needs a little pick me up because, you know, craft therapy or pick it up. It comes with nine cards. So there's nine cards of hope you can send to people. Um, and then you can just repurpose the box, fill it with, you know, maybe just goodies or treats, chocolate, coffee, little bottles of wine, you know, whatever makes you happy and gives you hope. Um, so lots of things you can do with this. It does make a great gift. And then the cards that come in it. So these aren't glued down because I was going to show you some stuff as I went, but um, just to show you how, how nice it is to put these together. So here's one of the cards and nothing's glued down. So like I said, I have to be a little careful. Um, it took me a minute. I'll see, and, and I would flip this around because that blue butterfly is just going to blend right in there. So it has these four little strips. This one has four little strips. There's a couple extra butterflies. And then a little thing that says just a note of hope. It took me a minute because I couldn't figure out when I was getting this ready before supper what this white card was for. I, I kept looking at the samples because, of course, I don't read the instructions. <laughs> looking at the samples and I couldn't figure it out. And then I noticed they had put it behind these strips um, to kind of square it off. But honestly, if you just put the strips down, I, I don't know. I like that, too. And then you got an extra piece of white card stock. But anyway, so this is one of the designs, however you end up making it. That's one of them. And, and like I said, there's lots of there's lots of extra butterflies to put on the card. I just didn't get that far. And then this one is a gorgeous card. Um, and it says hope. So this is supposed to say where there is. Let me cheat and look at the stamp set. Where there's a, so you, you, there's a stamp that says where there is hope, and then there's another stamp that says there is faith. Now. I love that Stampin' Up! recognizes that there's lots of other markets out there. And so, because this, and this is the other thing that made me remember it was global. So there's a French version and a German version of these. Sometimes there's Dutch as well. This time only had the three. Um, they go with them. The only problem is the stamp set is only in English. But if, if, you, <laughs> if, you're, if you're like anybody else, I mean, most people I know who speak a second language speak a combination of the two they know. So maybe it's okay to do part in English, but if not, you have other words you can use with other stamps or um, just as like on other cards that don't necessarily tie into that. But this card is gorgeous and it is all die cut for you. So here, I'm gonna move these pieces out of the way. Look at these envelopes too. I mean, they went all out with the envelopes. The envelopes are gorgeous in this box. These are all full size cards. So let me take those little bits and pieces off so I can show you. So this is all cut for you, right? It's all die cut. You just punch it out. It's all water colored with this, oh, it's gorgeous. And it, it just goes over here, right? So you just sort of line it up and it shows you right in the instructions. You see on the back, there's enough big spots here that the glue dots fit and, and that will glue it down. And then the stuff you put over top holds it. So those go together quite easily. And then the, the last one, I never even got that far. But again, look at this gorgeous envelope. And then the next one, or the last one in the group, um, if I'd been planning, I'd have, I'd have had this ready so I could uh, I could show you. I'll show you a trick, though, because I found this as I was doing this. This is the last card. So as I was doing this, I obviously decided that I wanted to die cut this very pretty blue piece because I die cut right out of the middle of this card. And the reason I did it is because I know that this goes over top. So if you want to get more bang for your buck, cut things out of the places nobody sees because why waste this good chunk of paper in the middle when you could, you're just gonna cover it anyways. So this one is the card that has, and again, there's French and English. Um, and the stamp that goes on the front, what did I just do with the stamp set? I, I, put, the, I put the stamp set somewhere else. Um, here, I'm gonna cheat and read the banner on the front. There's a stamp in here that says, always hope, because, always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. So there's a stamp that goes with that and you can, you can add the tomorrow, and hope right into the stamp to give it to sort of some dimension. So that's one of the other ones. So there's three of each of those designs. Oh, there's the stamps that I buried it. So there's three of each of those designs that go in there. Plus you come, it comes with the glue dots and the adhesives and the little, um, yep, word just went out of my head, sequence, a little sequence. But then, once, and the instructions, like I said, should you choose to use them. Um, but then once you, uh, once you get your cards made, like I said, once you decide what it is you're gonna do, oh, it, it comes with a black Blackberry Bliss ink spot to go with it. Um, it also comes with this piece of cardstock. 
that wraps around the box, right? So it'll eventually end up looking like this wrapping around the whole box. It comes with a roll and it's a pretty good size roll, enough to make it like wrap around the entire box and make a big bow of this gorgeous, really soft cottony um, Blackberry Bliss ribbon. So you can make a big bow out of it. And then it comes with a tag and some flowers. And that, like I said, that very nice sentiment, always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Um, that runs across the middle. Look at this monster um, die cut butterfly that goes in the, in the middle of this. And then, like I said, you pick a sentiment. There's some extra flowers and some extra butterflies and a little tag you can write on it if you want to write someone's name. So all of these pieces are in here so you can decorate the outside of the box. Like, it's awesome. Now, paper pumpkin kits are $34.50 plus tax and well worth it. Like, the amount of supplies and stuff you get in there is well worth it. But because it's hope month in the states, April is the month of hope, or however the proper way to say that is. Um, sorry, I have so much stuff in this box that I cannot get it all to fit back in there. Um, th these are um, they put these on sale for fifty percent off. So this box, if you order it with the stamp set and with the ink spot, is twelve dollars plus shipping and tax. So it's going to come out to like fifteen bucks, give or take, and then. If you want just the refill, so if, you are, if you've already ordered one of them and you want to make like, let's say you want to make four of them to give as gifts, you only really need one of the full kits to get the stamp set in the ink spot. And then you can order just refill kits, which still come with the box. They still come with the decor. They come with all the cards. They just don't come with the ink spot and the stamp set because you don't need four of those. You just need one of those to make them all, right? Uh, and those ones are only $6.50 plus shipping and tax. So 650, 11% is going to be like 70 cents. So we're up to seven something. And, uh, and I have no idea what you're saying to me. And um, that's helpful. And so probably $8 by the time you add GST, like they're going to be less than $8. So I don't expect these are going to last long. Like I don't know how many they have in stock. They're going to sell them till June. Uh, pardon that interruption. They're going to sell them till June. And um, if they sell out before then, then that's that's it. I don't think they'll make more, but they're awesome, awesome gifts or projects. Um, I would like to, I forgot to take it off the printer. I would like to um, start doing like little kit together. So anybody who orders these kits or other kits, or even if you just have leftover kits from before, um, uh, plus we have the other kits that are like the little robot one that just came out in the coaster one. I always post those in the newsletter when new kits come out. Um, and start doing some of these as like kit togethers. So for now, it'll probably, we could just do it over Zoom. It's a really easy way to do it. So everybody pulls out their kit, you got everything in it. We do it like this, we can all share our parts. And then it's always funny because when you're crafting, if you decide to go you know, off script, as I always do, um, then you can kind of show it up and you know, get input and, and it's nice to you know, show people and, and, and get ideas. And so it's lots of fun to do kit together. So anybody who does this, once, once we get find out who's gonna buy any of these kits or like I said, if you have some past ones you just haven't finished up or one of the other ones, um, I would love to do kit togethers. So that's on, the, that's on the books. We just gotta figure out who wants to get in on it and which date. Like we could do it, you know, last Thursday of the month or you know, every second Sunday or I don't know, something like that and figure out a way to do these things. Uh, one day they might be in person, um, right now, I'm kind of curious to see what's about to happen and whether or not it's worth it to plan that. Um, the one I forgot to post a picture of is the May Paper Pumpkin. So this is this is a past kit that is just a special offer they just announced today. What I was going to tell you about was the May Paper Pumpkin kits, and that is the one that is just now launched, and you have till the 10th of May to subscribe to it, and that's going to come. It actually lately they've been doing all the boxes have been all these like specialty boxes. Um, I'm still talking, but I'm going to go see what the dog is chewing on. There we go. Um, so you have to wait yet. So this this newest one, the the perk to it is that it's all the new in colors. So I'm going to show you the in colors in a minute. But the new kit, well, there's two things that are like special about it. So it's the new in colors. So it's going to be ten cards. There's five new in colors. So two of each of the cards, whatever design they do. So. The, those cards are designed to also be gift card holders, so you could make them just as a card. Um, and we've seen sneak peeks, so I don't actually have pictures of any of them, but I can tell they're kind of ombre, they're bright and bold. Um, Sarah Douglas, who is the daughter of said founder, whose picture was in the box, um, she's the CEO of the company. She's amazing. Um, she helped design this one. And so the last time she helped design a kit, 
it was just, it was bold colors. It's not super frilly, super, it's more like colorful and bold. And so this one looks to be like ombre of these colors. Uh, I believe she said it's all like happy birthday, congratulatory type sentiments. And then each one of the cards has like a little piece of cardstock that goes with it that matches the card that you can attach on the inside so you can slip a gift card in. So you can either have a card or a gift card holder or both. And they're like I said, all the new in colors, which is what we're gonna get to in a minute. The other thing though, is uh, gonna channel a little, a little uh, Willy Wonka as it were. And 200 of the kits are gonna have a golden voucher in them. And I, and I assume it's just gonna look like a ticket. It's, it's stamping up. So you know, it's gonna be a nicely printed ticket. Um, so 200 of the kits. Now, I think I heard somewhere and there's like tens of thousands of these kits, even though it is just North America that can get these kits, they ship a lot of them out. So I don't know what the odds are, but the odds are if you don't buy a kit, you're never gonna win. So if you do buy a kit, you have a chance to get one of these 200 vouchers. And the golden voucher is worth $34 Canadian. It's, it's 25 American, so it ends up being 35 Canadian, or 34, sorry, Canadian. Um, to buy whatever you want from Stampin' Up! with $34 worth. So it's just kind of a nice little perk. If you're gonna buy it anyways, um, you can buy some of the new in-color stuff I'm about to show you. You can buy some extra white cardstock. You could buy extra envelopes. You could buy whatever to stretch these kits out. Like, because they all come with a stamp set and an ink spot. So right off the bat, even buy a package of note cards and a couple and a punch or something and boom, you're off to the races and you can make all sorts of creations. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, and like I said, I, I'd have shown you at least the little teaser picture they gave us, but I can't because I forgot to get it off the printer. So let me know right away. I'm going to put in, I've already got a couple of people who want these. So I'm going to put in an order tonight. Um, if you want to get in on shared shipping, if not, um, I posted a link earlier today when I posted this, you can uh, just order directly from the store and have it shipped to you. Um, if you order like an order to ship direct to you, the minimum shipping you pay is, is $10.95. And then once it gets over hundred dollars, you pay 11% of whatever the total is. So if you're just ordering a few kits or a little bit, you're going to be well under that hundred dollar limit. So I like to maximize my value for shipping. Shipping is one of those things that irks me. It's not just a stamping up thing. It just in general, any kind of shipping, any kind of tax. If I can find a way to not pay it or to pay less of it, I will. <laughs> so that's what, that's the goal there. So yeah, um, email me, text me, add it in the comments, whatever, but let me know if you want to get in on that. And then even if you do want to make an order um, on your own and have a chip, if you need any help or anything, just let me know. It's also where we're what, three weeks left of the old annual catalog, uh, which has so many good things in it that are retiring and I'm not actually sure what I did with mine. Hmm. That wasn't very good planning, was it? Uh, this is a new one. I'm very excited about the new one. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you want out of the old one, the easiest way to find out what is still in stock of the items that are going, because about half the stamp sets that are retiring and a bunch of in color stuff and some of the embellishments and stuff have sold out. Um, is just to go to my online store and look at the last chance list. And basically, if it's there, it's in stock. If it's not, it's sold out. And that's slightly less frustrating than going through the catalog. Because if you go through the catalog and you see something you just have to have, and then you go to the store and you can't order it. Yeah. So this is the new catalog. Do, do, do. Um, and I can't actually show you the inside of it because until the 3rd of April, we are not allowed to. <laughs> and I love being a demonstrator, so I'm not, I'm not gonna break the rules. Um, which is, leads me to the, I originally had said I was going to have a catalog launch on the 23rd of April. And I thought, I'll show you the in-color stuff. I'll show you the stuff I have, but there's, there's just so many cool things in this new catalog, like little standalone die sets and, um, some paper that I like and some of the new stamp sets. And, um, I haven't ordered, I pretty much just ordered the in-color stuff. I ordered two extra bundles, um, one, so I could try to figure out a father's day stuff. And one is for a special occasion, and I can't tell you about it or show you it anyways, because until the people receive it, it I'm not going to spoil the surprise. So I don't have a ton of stuff from here. Now, on the 3rd of May, when I can order anything, because when we order early, we can only order select things. But on the 3rd of May, when I can order everything I want, <laughs> uh, then I'll have a bunch more to show you. Now, it'll take a week or two to get here. So I'm thinking, and even at that point, if there's something in here that I didn't get, that I want to point out to you and show you, then I can at least open the catalog and show you it. So I've decided I'm going to move the catalog launch and whatever celebration. And we'll, I still haven't figured out if it's going to be in person or virtual, but it's going to be towards the end of May. So a lot can happen between now and then. 
and uh, I'll decide in a few weeks once I get a better lay of the land and you guys give me some feedback and tell me what you're interested in. As far as catalogs go though, anybody I've given to a catalog before, you will get another catalog. Um, my plan is to start dropping them off this week. I've got a few errands to run and places to go. So I will, uh, I will um, kind of make routes and drop them as I go. Um, if you're long distance, it'll be mailed. And then if you don't have a demonstrator already, I am happy to help you and um, drop me a message and tell me how to find you and I will get you a catalog. So those are our new catalogs. So much fun to be seen in there. But like I said, there are so many good things in the other catalog that are that are on their way out. And this is your last chance to get them. So if you want them, now is the time. Now look at my very official clipboard for the next part. Okay, so the last thing for tonight is in colors. Now, <laughs> I get very excited about in colors. We've, we've had the discussions before, so I'm just gonna give you a quick recap. So Stampin' Up's got their, their color families. And this is where it would be really handy if I didn't um, hide. Oh, you know what? I'll just, sorry, I'm just gonna cheat because I'm so good with all the technology now. I actually use hex codes. <laughs> That's right, I know what a hex code is. So oh, sorry, just gonna, my clipboard just hit something over there that it's not supposed to. So Stampin' Up has their color families, right? So they have the, the four main colors that they always have. They have some basics, that's just the vanilla black and white. And then they have two sets of in colors, five each, right? So these are the ones that came out last year that are luscious and they're a little more soft, right? Awesome. These two colors here, Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent, two of my favorite colors ever. So each time colors come, they come for two years. So these ones were started last year and they will be another year of being able to buy products in this. These ones start this year and we'll be able to get them for two years. Now these colors are equally as amazing and they are so vibrant and fun and just make me think of like Florida and holidays and they're awesome. So when they first started announcing them, Stampin' Up! sent out these little riddles and we got to guess and, and you got to see them. And these were the images they had given us. And, and I could tell they were gonna be they were going to be fun. I think I must have hit my camera. Ooh, that's a real clip. There we go. Um, they are a gazillion, because I'm sure that's a word, a gazillion times prettier in person. And the other thing that you, you don't get until you see them in person is the true color of them. So I'm going to see how they show up on here. I was watching somebody else, my lovely friend Tamara, was showing some stuff. And I noticed, and she's got really good like camera equipment and everything, um, that they just, they're not nearly as vibrant. And so I'm not, uh, you know, yeah, see, mine look exactly the same. Okay, so this top one, and I peeled back some paper, it looks blue. I can tell you this is purple. <laughs> it's not blue, it's purple. This is blue. <laughs> this is blue. This is this lovely green color. I really should have taken the, the paper off of all of them. So, and see, this looks orange where it's red. So, it's very hard it's very hard to get the camera to show the true colors of them but i can tell you they are gorgeous gorgeous colors really like i said rich vibrant bright colors um and i only got them yesterday so when i have a bit more time i will go through our little our little that was flute to open that one our little color stack and say okay so here's night of navy and here's the the new one, which is called Starry Sky. And it and it is a dark blue, but it's not a navy blue. It's a, it's a starry sky blue. <laughs> um, I know, big help I am. It just, it's a different color. It, it has a more of a, right? So you can see the, the colors together. Um, oh, it's gorgeous though. But I will also go through, so I'll kind of get, get some pictures going where I can do some comparisons. Um, I think if I was to show you this color next to a purple would it look more purple now see on camera it still looks blue it's it's um oh it's a gorgeous color i don't even know what it equates to it's a gorgeous color and these colors they, they fit in nicely with the ones we already have that's why some people always ask what in colors and like what's the point but they they fit in nicely they they nestle in between existing colors and they complement colors and then in some cases they just coordinate where like it's just like oh this looks great with this um, oops, I flipped my deck over here. I'm trying to show you because one of the one of the most common ones is we have this granny apple green color, which is oh, I love this color. It's one of my faves. 
Um, and somebody said, well, this color looks just like it, but it's not. It's a little more neon and a little lighter. Um, and a color we had a few years ago, which I also loved, <laughs> called Love and Line Twist. Um, this is, it's closer to that, but it's not quite the same as that. But these two colors, I can see. I forgot what I'm doing, but I haven't even cut myself with my scissors yet rushing. Very proud of myself. Um, I can see these two colors and yeah, see the vibrancy of this is just not coming across on there. But I can see these two colors looking awesome together, maybe with white and quite honestly, with this blue color, this, and this blue color is called Tahitian Tide, but it's, uh, oh, it's a gorgeous turquoisey color if we want to go with turquoisey, but it doesn't look like the other turquoise we had. You're just going to have to trust me. They are a gorgeous color. So here's the thing. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a fan of the in colors. So when they come out, what I do, and, and luckily I don't have to wait because I'm a demonstrator, uh, I order them all because I can't wait to play with these and I can't wait to have new stuff in my mix and mix and match with the existing stuff I have. And I just oh, I love it. So I order a full pack of each of the papers. Now, I, I, will, I will fess up. The, the last one I did the same, I ordered all of them. I saw the end colors and I was like, oh my God. The one before that, I only ordered part of them. So I, I love it, let's say eight out of 10 times. Oh, and actually, you know what, funny enough, I have been 10 years, but I, I've just looked at the end colors and went, oh my goodness, I love them and ordered them all. There's been a couple of times where I was like, you know, there's a couple of colors in there that are just not my vibe. So I didn't order absolutely everything, but almost every time I do. So what I've done though, because I realize not everybody can or will do <laughs> that, is I figured out how to make an in-color club. So you have options. Now, if you are like me and you just decide, you know what, I want everything, then I've also figured out the, the best way for you to order it all, capitalize on the free rewards you get depending on how much you spend so you can get as much as possible for free. So if you really wanted to and you wanted to order it all at once, and I didn't write the total down, so I'm going to add this together. Um, actually, let me show you, because you're right now, if I, if I told you that it's about uh, $380, you're going to go, what the heck? Because you're looking at five packs of paper. Let me elaborate. Okay, so this is what happens. We have the cardstock. And uh, my desk is not going to be big enough for what I was thinking. Here, let's, I'm going to pick this color because I want to. So I'm just going to single it up. So imagine everything I pile up here, though, times five. <laughs> okay, so we have the cardstock. It also comes with, a, there's, there's designer series paper. And I love these little packages. And every year they change out the pattern on them. So this is, you get four different colors. So this is one pattern is the stripes. One pattern is these flowers, which I absolutely love. They remind me of Calico and honestly, Grizzly Adams and old times. And I love them dots and some plaids. So you have the same colors, but now you have them in each of the end colors, right? So there's the designer series paper that goes with them. They always come up with something to go with the end colors. Um, last year it was those ombre bags that were so nice to make treats and stuff out of. Um, sometimes it's boxes. There's various different things. This time it is glimmer paper. Whoa. So this and ombre glimmer paper, no less. So this is the same thing, right? The five different colors, there's, I was already cutting into that one. Um, there is four sheets of each of these colors. So you get that. So to get, so, so these ones are just one pack each, all five colors are in it, but there is five of these. Then you have one package of markers with all five colors in it. Um, you have, um, there's actually two things that weren't available the morning I ordered. So um, I won't have them until I think Monday because I had to wait and do like a second run. But um, this time you have two options. Usually you have a ribbon or a twine or something. For these end colors, you have both. You have ribbon and twine. So there's this lovely, it's kind of metallic-y, but it's metallic-y in a good way. And it's soft and it ties nicely. So there's a roll of ribbon and it is, I want to say one eighth. Would I be correct about that? That's totally a guess, but it looks like one eighth inch ribbon um, in each of the five colors. We'll stack that up there. There is a set of blends. And so the, there's, I, I always get the markers and I always get the blends. And um, one of these times I'll go into great depth about what, you know, all the uses for these and all the uses for these. And they do two different things. I love to color with the blend. 
but you can't be without the, the markers because if you make a mistake and you need to touch something up, or if you want to do multicolors like coloring directly onto the stamp, it has to be with these markers. You can't do it with these. So there's a set of blends for each of the colors. There is um, baker's twine. So there's white baker's twine. So that's the thin, I usually have it on my desk. I can't believe I don't. Because um, because honestly, I almost never put it away. Uh, this is my Easter jar. Um, if you watched if you watched my or read my blog on Friday, or sorry, Facebook on Friday, um, I told you these jars are amazing and they hold a lot. Like I had 15 of these little lint eggs in here. These happen to be the white chocolate ones. I love white chocolate. And so there's no longer 15 of them in here, but um, yeah, they hold a lot. Anyways, this is this is what I mean by Baker's Twine Dog. Squirrel, bunny rabbit, uh, this white twine. Only the twine is this white, and then it's got the a thre one thread of each of these different colors, right? So there's like white and orchid, there's white and Tahitian, white and sorbet, white and starry sky, and white and parakeet. So you have the option of ribbon and twine. But like I said, that, that wasn't, I couldn't, I ordered like first thing because I wanted, I was so excited about it. And it wasn't available until a little bit later. There's also embellishments. So these are not them. These sold out very quickly, but similar to this, right? Like, so you'll get a sheet with five colors of dots to go on here. They're more of a solid color. They're less rhinestone and more of a solid color. Very much looking forward to those. And then there is the ink pads, right? Uh, nope, still not really representing as purple. So five full-size ink pads. And I never buy an ink pad without buying the re-inker that goes with it. Partially because if the ink pad, um, I don't, I, these ink pads have a lot of ink in them. You can go a long ways on one ink pad, but um, sometimes it will happen if they didn't, you know, maybe click all the way shut when they were in the production process or got a little air or whatever, maybe they've dried out a bit or who knows, you know, mistakes happen. So you might need to touch it up a little bit, but if nothing else, there's so many different techniques you can do with the, with the re-inker, like directly just dropping it in the lid and using your aqua painter or, you know, brush. Oh, there's so many different things. So I always order. Plus at this time of year, when they start to um, retire products, in color stuff is the first to go. So if you have the ink pad and you're like, this color is awesome, I'm gonna use it for the rest of my life. People are gonna stop, stock up on these re-inkers. So they almost go first. So I always make sure I order them at the same time. So I've ordered all of everything I could with the in colors. <laughs> Now, if you order all of this stuff, you pay, it, it'll cost you about 386. And by, by ordering that way, like when I, when I order, if you just order, I have it broken down into two chunks, but if you order most of this, like half the stuff, let's say the paper, the ink pads and the, the DSP, the, you, you spent enough, you get some free spending and that will pay for your markers. And then the other half is sort of the embellishment. If you order it all together, you can get the, the markers for free, and like two of the sets of blends for free. So it would actually come in at about probably 350. So it all just depends what it is you want. But I will show you, if you wanna order it all at once, you let me know. Uh, and I will show you the easiest way to get free stuff <laughs> and to make this be uh, like less. Now, most people want it all, but don't necessarily buy it all in one shot. And that's where the sampler comes in. So what the sampler is, is I take, and I can do it in different ways. I, I order, I, we do it. So when I do the ordering, I order through me because you can order individual. I'm giving you the whole rundown. I'm going to tell you all sorts of little tidbits today. You can order these, and I don't actually remember the price off the top of my head. So, but you can order the stamp pads individually and you pay, um, let's say $12. I'm not actually, I can't remember now, for them. But if you order a five pack, like when the new ones come out, you can order a package of all of them together. And instead of paying five times 12, I do know that this is 49.50 plus shipping and tax. So you get a bit of a discount by ordering it as a bundle. So that's what I do, right? I always order them as a bundle. So when we get to the second part, just remember that I order things like a little bit different. So I, I know that not everybody is going to order these or order the big ones, especially if you just want to try the new colors, see which ones you like. And then maybe you decide you order them all the stuff, or maybe you decide um, just to order a few of the colors that are your favorites. So what we do then instead 
is I order a, a set of these ink spots. And these are the same ones that we use in the paper pumpkin, which can be enough is right there, right? You ink them up. These are great when you're using the stamparatus. So these are not just for samplers, right? These are great for lots of stuff. And on a big stamp, you just, you know, tap it around a bit more. On a little stamp, they're perfect. They're, like I said, they're great on the stamparatus because you don't get it all over the, the plate. Um, so the same as you get some of these inked ones, we, we can buy, conveniently enough, a set of five uninked ones. So what I do is I buy a set of these and using my re-inkers, I will ink these in the five colors for you. So you will get a set of in-color ink spots that I made for you, basically, because um, you can't just buy the ink spots like this, but I will make them for you using my stuff and these. So instead of the ink, instead of the re-inkers, now we're gonna take this all away and see if this works. And full size ink pads, you're gonna get these, only imagine them with color. You are still gonna get a set of markers because I have no other way to, um, to do that without getting the markers. But I can't break the markers down. The blends are an option if you want the blends or not, but we'll, we'll do with the markers. And then instead of getting a full roll of each of these ribbons, these are 10, e 10 yards each, I'll give you two yards of each ribbon. Now two yards, if you put your hand out, like your arms out, that's supposed to be equal to your height. So in my case, that's five feet. So not quite, two yards is a little bit longer than that, but that's a fair bit of ribbon to try with. Um, mine is actually five and a half feet. Not, I think I said five feet. I wanna, I wanna get credit for that extra five inches. Um, but yeah, so you'll get two yards of each of these ribbons and I just wrap them around a piece of cardstock. So instead of big spools, you'll just get like a sampler of five. The same with the, with the baker's pond, you will get a sample of, those ones are, yeah, those are the same. Those are 10 yards each. So you would get two yards of each of those. Then instead of getting an entire package of glimmer paper, you would get, I think it's two sheets of each. Let me just look. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong color there. I'm looking at the wrong page, that's why. Um, yes, you would, so you'd get two sheets of each of the glimmer paper, right? In So five colors times two. And then in this case, there's, you would get two, each, two of each of these patterns, right? So, or, so you'd have like a red one that's got the plaid on one side and dots on the other, and a red one that has stripes on one side and flowers on the other. And then you'd get each of the five colors. So you'd end up with 10 sheets of, of um, the pattern paper. And then you would get a package because um, where I buy like one package that's 20 sheets of the same color, you could buy an assortment package of these as well. So you would get 20 sheets, but it would be four sheets each of the five colors. So you would have a sample of cardstock, a sample of the pattern paper, a sample of the glimmer paper, a sample of the ribbon, your ink spots and your markers, and you would get, I don't, I can't show them to you, but the way the embellishments come there is, well, I'm gonna cheat and look at my sheet of paper because I've already forgotten what it says. Oh, I can't find the line where I wrote it down. There is, I think you get mm, 10 of each <laughs> color or something. So I will, I will cut those into strips. So you'll basically get a strip of each color of embellishments instead of a full package of embellishments. It would have been a lot easier if I could have just shown you the package, but it's not here yet. So, so you get enough of an assortment. Now this will make you a lot of cards and a lot of projects and let you try the, all the new in colors and stuff like that. So you can do that one. Just a minute. <laughs> well, I, I cheat and look at my sheet of paper. I just realized I set the old one on top of the new one, which is why none of my prices are working out. Uh, oops. Let me just, uh, did I mention the sleep deprivation? Yeah, uh, do to do. So this one, yes. Yeah. So this is gonna cost you $56. Nope, that's not what it's gonna cost you. Sorry, that's the monthly one. I need to get to the sample one. I'm on the wrong page, just one second. Uh, this is $80. So a one-time purchase of $80 gets you the sample of all of these things. And I'm still at bat dots. Okay, so yes, you would end up with six each of the five different colors of the dots. That's I knew that I had it written down here somewhere. So if you want to get, so instead of paying $350 and having a ton of stuff, 80 bucks will get you a sample of everything. And then, then you could decide if you want to order more of anything. Um, and then 
there is, if you want to add on the blends or add on other stuff, you can do that, that as well. And it would just add to the color cost of it. Now, my choice, and what I'm, I'm hoping we can get some people doing, because I think it'll be a lot of fun if we can do it, is we're going to have an in-color club. So what happens in an in-color club, Tracy? Oh, let me tell you. Let me dig through my stuff. So what happens in the in-color club is everybody signs up for five months. And by the time you're done, you're going to end up with the big package of everything. But we're going to do it one month at a time. So you have the option of deciding to be in just the basic club, which gets you the paper, the ink pad. Uh, this, it's not going to make sense if I don't pull it out of here. Just one second. Let's just do this at the same time. So what you're going to end up with oops, is the first month, let's just say, and we do, we just draw numbers to decide what order it goes in so that it's it's equal. So what happens though is, so the first month I draw, I get my color is Parakeet Party. So I get a package of Parakeet Party. I get the Parakeet Party DSP. I get the Parakeet Party stamp pad and inker and marker, blends and ribbon and the embellishments and the baker's fine, which I can't show you. So I get a fiesta of parakeet party. Actually, I, I just let me do that again. I just lied to you. Um, I gotta remember what I put in this one. I put in the marker. I did put in the blends. I just didn't put in the ribbon. Sorry, that's okay. So you have the option of getting just the basics, which is this, or you can add on the embellishments as well, because and, and it's just how everybody crafts. Some people want a sample, like want all of this, but just need a little bit of the other stuff. Some people want all of one and part of the other ones. So because I've made this very confusing with the prices, because I started looking at the wrong sheet first, um, I will I will post tomorrow a link that shows you all of the exact cost breakdowns and what comes with everything. I'm just trying to give you a visual. So you can order this um, and then if you want to order the embellishments, then you get the embellishments, the ribbon, the glimmer paper in the same color. So in month one, you have the option and you can order both of them together, right? So I like I like to do what Stampin' Up! does. And to order all of the accessories, or all of the basics, sorry, is $60 per month. So one color per month. To order the, and I, see, I, don't, have all, I don't have my props, to order the the embellishment package that goes with it is oops, there we go seriously my my, my paper is uh, sticking to each other and I keep every time I go to grab a paper I grab the wrong one it's thirty dollars a month and like I said it there's more but I don't have the sample so it look, doesn't look like it so if you imagine glimmer paper ribbon baker's twine embellishments Then if you add the two of them together, so if you paid 60 and 30 would be 90, but I like to be like Stampin' Up and give a discount. So you get 10% off if you order both of them. So then it's only 81 because I like the idea of bundles like Stampin' Up does. So you have the option of, of ordering both or ordering just one or the other. So depending on what you order each month, you're going to get your chunk. Now, when you get your first one, if you, already, if you don't already have a catalog, you will get a catalog. You will also get the mini catalog, which we're still in our current mini catalog, which goes to the end of June. So the next catalog, that's this one with lovely tulips on the front. Um, the next one that comes out is for July to December. So we'll have that sometime in June. And that's generally referred to as the holiday mini. And it will have all the fall holidays and lots of Christmas stuff in it. So you'll get one of those too. As soon as it comes out, I'll pop it in your stuff that month. Um, each month, I'm going to throw in a couple card projects. So I'd like to make 3D items <laughs> um, and depending on if I can make ones that are easily translatable to this that I can put in there that are easy for you to put together. I want to make it, I want to make it a fun experience for you. I like to go a little crazy sometimes with the projects, but um, I will put in enough that there's a couple extra projects. And then you have the option if you want that you can join in and 
I lost my first page again. We'll do like a Zoom. And, and again, once we know who's in the club, um, we'll decide on what day is the best day to do it. And we could do it by Zoom. It's possible we'll do it in person. And we'll get together once a month and we can make the projects and you know compare notes or just have fun and chat while we craft because that's what we do. So that's what you do. So the first month you get a bunch of stuff. Then when you get your second month, you're going to get the next color, the next color. But it depends if you've ordered the accessories or the or the um, just the basics. But you'll get more stuff, right? So by the time your five months is over, and paying, so you're basically it's basically the payment plan, and you get a fifth of the of all of the products each month. So each month you will get a new color. Now the card projects that I give you, I know that chances are you have other stamping stuff too. Um, there'll be lots of you know white blended in, or once I figure out what other colors go really well with this, there'll be other colors. So your card base, card base might be white. But what I like to do, and I've got a few of them um, already figured out, and I might just um, revamp a few of them from the last time. But is so the first month I'm going to give you like some projects you can make using just a single color. And monotone projects um, can be a lot of fun. Like they're pretty cool. So I will let you know what those look like. And then the second month, your project's going to have two colors in it. And then the third month, it's going to have three projects or three colors, four colors, five colors, just to give you ideas how to build on them. Now, it's totally possible you have other stuff and you can change it and do it however you want. But it's just to give you different card layouts and different ideas and kind of build on it as you would go. And each month you get a new color. And, hey, let's see what it's like to add two. Now, they're not necessarily color specific because everybody's getting a different color each month. Right, because I'm going to buy a five pack every month of these of these stamp pads, so that I can get the the cheaper price, so that when I give them to you, you pay less. So each month I buy one of these, and I give you each one of them. the next month month I buy another one. I give you each one of them, right? So each month you get a color. But the idea of having new projects each month, new colors each month, dispersing the cost over the cost of five months, and having a like a scheduled play date <laughs> each month to play with the new in colors. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I would like to know who's interested. Um, I need to have commitment by the first week of March, uh, first week of May, sorry. Um, ideally, I would like to know by the 3rd of May. So on the 3rd of May, which is the day I can order, I can just blitz and order them all. Now, depending what you want, whether you want the sampler, whether you want all of it at once, or whether you want to be part of the, the cool kids club and be in the five month club, um, will depend how you do this, but let me know what you're interested in, and if you have any questions, let me know that too. And I will figure out all the best ways to make this work and get ready to order. Um, ideally, I need five people to make this club work. Uh, if I get four, I can take a place in the club and make it work. Um, I think I, I, I did that, but ideally, we get a group of five is what we're looking for. So. If, the, if you and four of your friends want to make your own club, if I have 10 people, I'll make two clubs. We'll do it. Um, if, if you and four of your friends want to do this and you want to have it just your club, then we can make that work. I just need to know all at the same time that there's five of you so we can set that up as one club. And then when we do the, the, the Zooms and stuff, then yeah, it's you and your friends are crafting. Um, if it's just you as one person who wants to do this, then you join a group of other people who want to do it and you make new friends. It's all good. Okay, that's just going to fight with me, so we're not going to bother. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I would like to try it. Um, I always just want to craft with you guys. And if there's a way that I can help you get stuff for free and get everything you want, um, then I'm going to do it. So let me know if you're interested in the in colors in any way, shape, or form all at once. What did I call them? I, 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 I had all the things. Um, the sample pack and the and the in color club with the three kind of breakdowns. So whichever ones of those you want, and trust me when I tell you, the camera is just not doing it justice. Um, and I realize in hindsight I really should have taken all the plastic off of all of these things. But like I said, they only came yesterday. And let me know if you are at all interested in the hope box or or, or five of them, and if you need a catalog, if I don't already have you on my list to get you one. I will be back on Thursday. We're going to do a one sheet wonder. So for anybody who doesn't know what that is, it'll be fun. Tune in and see. <laughs> um, it's a great way to make a whole bunch of cards. Can't wait to show you. Um, and this, this particular one comes from my friend Tamara. She just did it 
um, on our mystery card Monday, not that long ago. Um, and it's a great one, easy to easy to work. And conveniently enough, works with six by six paper. So I'm going to probably use the new in color stuff to do it. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Oh, I'd also like to know if you like this later time better. Um, <laughs> Tamara, you have a gift of tuning in just as I'm signing off. Because um, I'm signing off because you're about to start. <laughs> So yeah, let me know if you like this time better. I can make it work. Um, our, our schedule is settling it out a little bit. The puppy is starting to, you know, it's leveling off a bit. It won't, it won't instantly go away, but I'm starting to, we're starting to get a rhythm in the house now between my work and my son's school and puppy's all important schedule. Um, he is a cute little rascal, but he is a rascal. So um, I can make, I can make six o'clock on a Thursday work or on a Tuesday. Sorry, I don't even know what day it is. I can make it work. I just have to make sure I'm done by seven. Um, if if you like, if you can't catch either one of them, and you, it's just as good to stick with the, <clears throat> excuse me, to stick with the afternoon time. That's good too. And then yeah, Thursdays at seven, and the rest of the stuff is usually just post. So if you don't catch it live, it's, it's not bad. You like later? Okay, so, I I I can do this whenever I want to make it work for you guys. So I would really like it if you guys let me know. So there. What time is it? What in colors do you want? You need a hope box. Are you interested in the <laughs> your chance at a golden voucher? And do you need a catalog? There's the wrap up. Um, back to back TNT. There you go. It'll be it'll be it'll be a legendary Tuesday night. Or if you're a fan of How I Met Your Mother, it will be legend. Airy. Um, thanks for joining in. Thanks for the last last minute change. And uh, I will see you guys on uh, Thursday. Have a good night, everyone.